so good morning everyone so now today we will going to uh, start a new demo that is basically over the python coding okay so in arcgis pro how can we will going to do the python code and uh, using that code how we will going to calculate the ndvi okay so that part which we will going to discuss it here okay so a uh, little bit of image processing with the help of uh, you can say the python uh, code in in arcgis pro okay so that is also giving you a, a great uh, use of this arcgis pro okay so let's start with that so if you see here uh, under this analysis okay so we have this python one option okay so you can simply click on the new notebook of the python okay so your python books will open so let's wait for a few minutes it is coming okay now the python library came so to calculating ndvi okay first what we're going to do we are going to import the archive first okay so let's type it the in import arc okay so this is the very first things which will which will going to uh, run okay so let's run it yes so now uh, i will import it the arcpy tools okay now what we will going to do within the arcpy the 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 special analysis uh, tools those are we are required okay so the next code we will going to call that okay so from arc pi dot sa import okay done and then you can give a star can say give a space and start okay so this is how we are uh, running the next uh, code so uh, you can see if i just run then let's see what will come yeah now the code is successfully run so now the next important thing which you have to understand that is basically uh, we have to uh, run uh, now the ndvi formula okay so we all know about this ndvi formula which we usually use so before uh, running the ndvi formula what you have to introduce is first you have to introduce your band which is which are the band is required and what are the locations of that particular bands so that is very important here okay so what we'll going to do we are going to give a name two name i'm just going to give suppose re red the score dr back okay rate underscore band equal to or you can say little space equal to again space okay and uh, you can give uh, the next code that is suppose bracket okay r i just said this okay so now you have to mention your drive where you have your data so you just see my drives where i have my data those are here so under the d drive arcgis training so this is the bhuvaneswar data so this is the bhuvaneswar landsat okay so this is the locations i have so that is basically d drive so first we have to give that drive information so d and then you can give us a column okay so now you give an backslash so this is the very first steps which we mentioned that is basically the locations of my file where it is actually there okay so now i have to select the red band of that with the exact name okay so that name is actually my which one which band is this b3 obviously so let's go to that place okay so here we are going to use the two bands so that is basically we are going to use not band 3 so we are actually use for the uh, what is this required for the uh, ndvi 
obviously we are going to use the infrared and red band okay so that means we require the band 4 and the band 5 okay so band 4 and band 5 we required so simply i am just going to select the band 4 this one just right click go to the rename and copy it copy it so that is your band name band 4 so let's go to this and you can paste it there so just control c control v okay so that uh, dot if because it's a tip file okay so you have to type like that so uh, you can see so just a minute so you sorry okay so that's to mean so this is your first band informations which i just going to create so let's run it okay now you just see what i did i just give the band that is red band equal to the locations where i just save okay so that is my d drive okay and then uh, under the arcgis training data bhubaneswar data and bbh uh, lancet raster and this is the band uh, the which band i want to select okay so that is for the red band it will be band 4 suppose okay so the band 4 i am just selecting if you see here so that is the band 4 okay for under this locations okay under it is d drive arcgis data publisher bh so this is the way how we are actually putting the locations okay so now after doing this what you have to do you just simply click on run and see now it is coming properly okay so so next uh, we will going to uh, do the same thing over that nir band okay so let's copy this okay let's copy this same thing and then just paste it here and change this one is nir band nir band and then band 4 you just change it in band 5 that's all okay so let's run this and yes now these two are actually mentioned nir and red bands are mentioned now we can go for the NDVI formula which we basically use what nir minus r divided by nir plus r okay so that also we try to calculate in the float okay so we are going to type that okay so let's see that so let's type the ndvi raster how we're going to type it so we can type like this ndvi okay underscore str raster we can give uh, sorry str raster give little space and then you can give the equal to okay again give space and now you have to type the formula okay so what we'll usually do so first is divide d i v i d okay you just first do the divide then give the first bracket now under the float we have to calculate so simply type float f l o float okay next is which band we required okay so you can give a first bracket again okay and the band which band you want to select so before you have to select so you have to mention it is a raster bands okay so that you have to mention it here so raster simply type the raster okay now uh, you have to mention the band name so what is your band name so first one is your nir minus r so you have to give a proper same name which you are actually type there so after raster give the first bracket again so so after raster if you just see here if i need to what i need to do i have to need to subtract nir minus r so first you have to give the nir band so that will be same thing you have to type 
or you can copy it from here control C come here and control V okay in higher band and then what you have to do so next is this is your band information the band name which you are actually giving it here okay so that is done so now you come come here and you have to subtract these with the another raster band or you can give it space minus space raster now what band you want that is basically the red band so need to select this one and copy okay underscore okay just control c you can just paste it there control v so this is my raster band which i just select okay so now we have to type the similar formula under the float again with for nir plus r so nir minus r we already did the similar things we have to do for the nir minor plus r okay so let's do that okay so this we finish so you just simply uh, give a comma here space okay then again you calculate float okay and then you can give a bracket again then you just type raster again you give bracket what the band same band in ir band you just need to select copy it you just need to paste it there okay so your float raster in ir band is now copied now what you have to do plus okay you have to do the plus or before plus you can give little space after plus also you need to give little space okay so you can type raster again raster again you can take that red band okay so this is your red band the same band control c and you can keep as a control v okay so i just copy and paste this red band okay so this is the formula which we type for the ndvi so let's see see the output now let's run it so that we can understand if there is any kind of error or not if it is not running so simply go to the run and yes now it is running properly so the next steps which we will going to do that is we have to save our output in a some location okay so that we will going to do okay so where we will going to save this data so i can save it in some location suppose here i go e drive okay so tech support so here i can create a new folder suppose test test ndvi code okay or ndvi code you can give same thing same thing you can give ndvi code under where under pc e drive tech support ndvi code okay so we can take this path copy this path okay ndvi raster dot save and then we have to paste it that the same process okay so just go to this okay so first is you have to type what you have to type the ndvi okay so the same thing ndvi raster which you have to give uh, given here the same thing you have to save it so ndvi or you can best is you can uh, okay type it ndvi underscore raster okay dot sav 
save now you can create a bracket okay give r to control and then write it comma okay and then which drive you want to save it so simply paste that control c control v so this drive you want to save your code okay so this is basically this is how we are actually saving this code means so uh, this is basically how we are actually saving this ndvi value okay so let's see that how the output is coming so now the my code is ready okay so if you save it so you, it will now uh, save in that particular locations where you have so this is a tiff in the ndvi code which i give it as tiff and then you can simply uh, run this code let's see yes so that is how the codes are ready okay so let's and uh, now we just uh, run this total code and you see the output is generated here okay so let's see and check the output how it is the ndvi is actually generated so see here so exactly the locations how this ndvi is actually perfectly generated okay so it is depends okay so that is the way how we are actually uh, generating the ndvi data okay so if you see here so zero uh, means to one the ndvi value is coming and it is perfectly coming okay so thank you everyone so this is just to give you a you know, basics idea about how you will do the image processing using the uh, arcpy okay uh, and um, that is a very useful tools okay sometime whenever we are using a lot of imageries and you do some kind of um, coding over that particular image it is so then that options you have in rgs pro okay using this new notebook options so that's all from my side okay so uh, please stay with me and if you like my channel please subscribe okay and we i will come with uh, so many other uh, videos also okay so thank you thank you very much thank you very much all